Greetings. My name is Eric Day. I'm the Director of Clinical Services for Washington County Ambulance District. Today, I'm going to be using my assistants, Sarah Shoemake and Rita West, to help demonstrate how, in the event that you have a highly infectious disease patient, that you can safely administer non-invasive positive pressure ventilation or nebulizer therapy to them using this barrier device that we've created here. You can see over here, the only extra setup is we're using three-quarter inch uh, PVC piping that we've secured to the stretcher frame. And then the frame itself is put together and then deployed over the patient. Once the frame's in place, you simply take this vinyl sheeting here and pull over the patient, and you can secure behind. Once you have your barrier in place, you can go ahead and safely place the patient on non-invasive ventilation or administer a nebulizer therapy to them without concerns regarding significant viral load. Now, even with this, we still advise that you place a HEPA filter between the mask and the circuit. That's going to help to reduce the exposure to the providers. And then this patient can be safely loaded into the back of an ambulance and transported without a significant exposure. Once you arrive at the destination and you want to transfer care to the hospital, you can simply remove the PVC piping. the vinyl in, trying to keep the patient side away from the provider, and then the sheeting will get placed into a biohazard bag and either thrown away or decon, depending on supplies. You can then safely transfer the patient over um, to the receiving facility.